Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, February 20th, and I'm here with you at the rising of the sun. My little cat has finished her breakfast, but I do have with me this beautiful cross, um, and you can see through it. It also casts a shadow on the wall that I love. And when I put it by the window, rainbows dance around the room. <laughs> We continue this morning in the book of Deuteronomy. Moses is standing at the edge of the promised land with the Hebrew people who have finally made it a generation having died in the desert in the period of exile and exodus. And Moses is saying to them, guess what? There are already people here. <laughs> the promised land is not just some empty field for you to move in. The promised land is full of people. And here's where the message gets tough. You're gonna go in and you're gonna defeat these people, but it won't happen all at once, it'll be gradual. You see, in the time of the Hebrew scriptures, war victory was definitely seen as a sign of God's favor, defeat as a sign of God's justice. Jesus came to teach us otherwise a higher path. But for these people, standing on the brink of what they'd been longing for for 40 years, only to find out that the next chapter, this supposed paradise, was not going to be paradise at all. It was going to be a big project. There was a lot of stuff there and people. It was a promised land because it was promised to them, but it wasn't Eden. It wasn't paradise. I think a lot of us anticipate the end of this pandemic and we just can't wait to get back to seeing each other and hugging and visiting and having parties and going to movie theaters and it all seems so idyllic to us. When in reality, when this pandemic does lift and it will probably be gradual, just as the Hebrew people had to enter the promised land gradually, the end of this pandemic probably won't be just on one day. Everyone will say, it's over, get out of your house. <laughs> It'll be a gradual unfolding as more and more people are vaccinated and feel safe to emerge. But our promised land, our next chapter, is also going to be full of things to do, projects, imperfections, new realities, I think we always picture the idyllic future as a way of leaving the present in order to dream, and that can be a good thing. But life is life, and it is a challenge. It is a battle between the light and the darkness, a spiritual battle. And each day we wake up, we face new challenges. So as you envision the lifting of this pandemic, and I pray for that every day with you, don't envision that it's gonna be some kind of paradise. Know that the challenges will just change and there will be wonderful reunions. I can't wait for that. But remember, when we get together, we also realize that we have disagreements. <laughs> the promised land was not idyllic but it was a place to go, something to strive for. And we have the same right now. We have a goal and it is good. Not perfect, just good. Let us pray. Almighty God, as we approach and anticipate the day when we can be with one another again, freely without masks, we ask you to prepare us in heart and mind for the challenges that lay ahead. Because so much has changed, our technology has advanced so rapidly, our, our notion of space, of working in one place and living in another and worshiping in a third place, these things are all shifting. We know that this new chapter in our lives will be full of challenges, but also rewards. And most importantly, that you will be there with us. So guide us on this day 
to face whatever lies ahead. Bless those who are sick. Bless the dying. Bless those who care for them. Bless those who struggle economically. Bless those who are struggling with weather all over this nation. Bring us guidance, strength, and courage. This we ask in the name of Jesus, your Son. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.